Okay, hello HDFS 101 students. Let's um, talk through the two simulations in this class, the My Virtual Child or MVC simulation and the My Virtual Life Adult or MVL simulation. So these slides that I'm about to go over are drawn directly from the assignment guidelines, so please refer to those for more details. This is just an overview. Okay, so in the MVC simulation, you're going to have a baby and you're going to parent that virtual child from birth through adolescence. Initially, you're going to answer some demographic and personality questions. Once your virtual baby is born, you will make decisions about parenting your child and you'll also get to see the effects of your parenting decisions over time. There are no points assigned for the quality of your parenting decisions. There's no um, wrong answer that's going to hurt you. So you may opt to parent poorly just to observe the long-term effects. So how do you get to it? You navigate through Canvas um, to Pearson Revel and the My Virtual um, Life or My Virtual Child simulation to raise your child. If you are experiencing at all technological issues, please make sure you review the guidance in the assignment drop box, as well as the Rebel tro trouble troubleshooting tr tips that we've got posted on Canvas. There are, there's a lot to do in the My Virtual Child simulation. There's about 300 screens, um, along with 12, um, along with our 12 required short answer responses, which I'll tell you more about. And so we imagine that completing the multiple choice questions in the simulation and filling out our short answer form um, is going to take about 15 hours. So just again to be clear, because this is a, a point of confusion, you're only going to answer the multiple choice questions in the simulation. You're not going to answer the short answer questions in the simulation. We've selected about 12 of, or 12 of those short answer questions, and we've also done some editing of them. And we have those compiled in a short answer form, a Word document posted in the assignment Dropbox on Canvas. And that's what you're going to use to complete the short answer. Um, we don't check your progress along the way. The due date is just at the end when the assignment is due. Um, but we do provide some age recommendations in the course schedule. We will give you the points for the simulation based on how much you complete. So if you get 100, if you do 100% of the simulation, then in the rubric where we're giving you points for completing the simulation, you'll get 100% of those points. If you just do half the simulation, you'll get half those points. Um, it's really important that when you're answering these 12 questions, that you're using your own thinking and your own words and you're not just copying, paste, copying and pasting from the simulation or the textbook or the lecture. We are requiring that you cite the simulation, um, you use and cite the simulation in all 12 questions. And then the so many of the 12 questions also require that you use and cite information from either the textbook or the lecture. Okay, so here's an overview of the rubric for the short answers. And again, we give you also a certain amount of points just for completing the multiple choice answers in the simulation. So you can see for the short answers, um, again, there's 12 questions for the My Virtual Child um, simulation and short answer form. So we give you points just for having a response, for answering a question. Then we give you points for meeting our response length. We're looking for about a minimum of 75 words. Um, but some of these would be hard to answer in just, you know, that short of amount of words. So you are often going to have to use more words unless you're just a very succinct writer. Then we give you points for response depth, for answering all the questions in the prompt, prompt showing some critical thinking and, connect, and connecting to class material. Uh, we'll give you some points for writing style, having accurate spelling and grammar, and you are allowed to use spell check and Grammarly. Um, and then we only allow one direct quote where you've taken something word from word from maybe the simulation, perhaps a report on your child's progress that came up on the simulation or from the textbook or the lecture. So make sure that instead you're paraphrasing, but then citing to give credit for the idea. 
Um, we are requiring again that you have citations in each of your responses. The My Virtual um, Child simulation should be cited in every single one because you're pulling on the simulation for all 12 answers. And then many, most of the questions actually require that you either pull in information from a textbook and lecture and cite that as well. Um, for APA format, <clears throat> I've got a slide kind of showing what that looks like and the guidelines have much more details on that. So you just need in-text APA formatted citations and you don't need a reference page for this assignment. So the My Virtual Life Adult Simulation or MVL, again, review those guidelines for more details. Um, this is basically the exact same format as uh, the My Virtual Child, but it's much shorter. So the adult simulation is about, you know, we, we're going to say that's about a third to a little bit more of the effort that you're going to put in for the My Virtual Child simulation. Um, we estimate that instead of 15 hours, we're estimating that to be around six hours perhaps with the short answer. We do have age recommendations that you complete in the schedule, but again, we don't check it until the deadline. Um, it's a, a smaller points assignment, so it's only 35 points. You get 15 points for completing 100% of the simulation, and again, we'd prorate that. If you did half of it, you'd get 7.5 points in that area. And then you get 20 points for completing the MVL short answer questions. Instead of 12, in, as we have in the My Virtual Child, we only have eight. Um, it's still the short answer form on Canvas. You're going to, again, cite the MVL simulation in all 12 um, and then you're going to use and cite lecture um, in as many as as the questions require which is a lot of the questions so the points here um, are organized in the same way as the my virtual child um, short answers just less points because you have less questions okay so in all of academia, when you're writing, all ideas that aren't your own, you should be giving credit for. They need a citation. Even if you're putting it in your own words, you still have to give credit for the idea. So any material you take from the MVC or MVL simulation should be summarized and cited um, in each response. The lecture or textbook is cited if the, the question asks you to. And so here's how you cite um, the textbook in APA format, say Arnett and Jensen, you have the year that it was published, and then we are asking, and this is not APA, but we're asking so that we know as your graders which chapter you pulled it from. So we're asking you to include that. Similarly, in citing my lecture, um, you use my last name, then you put the calendar year, basically the year you're taking the class, and then again, the chapter, so that we can find the material that you're referencing. APA wouldn't normally have you include the chapter number. And for the simulation, you can either cite MVL or MVC um, simulation, and then again, the calendar year, the year that you're taking the class. Okay, how can you avoid plagiarism? So first, um, in general, this is again, all academic writing. If you take more than three consecutive words um, verbatim from another source, my PowerPoint slides, the textbook, the simulation, you should be using quotation marks um, on either side of that. Um, that says that these aren't your words, you're taking them from someone else, and then you're still citing. Um, when you are using ideas from the simulation, the lecture, the textbook, put it in your own words, and then still give credit for the idea with an in-text citation, but you don't need quotation marks. Um, we're not allowing the use of AI or artificial intelligence for wording or ideas. Of course, you can use spelling and grammar, grammar check. Um, and please don't use your friend's assignment from a current or previous semester. Those are all in turn it in. Um, and then that's going to come up as plagiarism. All right, to close, I'll just put in a little plug for coming to my Zoom office hours. The sign up for a 15 minute slot is available on Canvas. And during <clears throat> um, the, the weeks that assignments are due, the GTA will also be holding office hours so that you can pop in there as well. Bring a draft um, before the due date of what you've got written and we'll give you, we'll look it over, we'll compare it to the rubric and we'll really help raise your score in a very short amount of time. You won't regret it. Hope to see you there.